Hello, and welcome to Learn Digital Design. This will be our 15th Inkscape tutorial. Please visit us on the web at www.learndigitaldesign.com. And today we're going to talk about shiny buttons. So let's get started right away, and let's go ahead and grab our uh, square tool here, and let's bring out a nice rectangle here. And of course the settings aren't like I want it from the get-go. So let's make it a little bigger here. Let's uh, now grab the uh, Edit Path by Nodes tool. Let's bring these corners down just a little bit. Nice and curved. Curved uh, features just make your site more relaxing and, and um, more inviting to people. So now what color do we want our button to be? Let's make it a... Uh, Let's make it a green color. I think right there. How about that? Now, what we need to do next is obviously this is not quite good enough. Uh, we need to add some shine and shadow to it. So, what I'm going to do to do that is first I'm going to add the shadow down here. And what I'm going to do is copy this square and I want to copy it right on top of this one. So, what I'm going to do is push Control D. Now I effectively put a copy right on top of it. I want to make that a much darker green here. And then grab our gradient tool and bring up a gradient from the bottom here. And it looks like it was set to a radial gradient, so let's control Z. Switch to a linear gradient and bring that up from the bottom just like this. centered uh, isn't necessarily going to look just right. So we're going to have it a little off center. And uh, now what we're going to do is grab this rectangle we made again and then make another copy. Control D. And we leave it selected. Shift and grab the circle that we just made. And now at this point we're going to go up to path and go to intersection. And you can also do the control asterisk key. And now this is left. So what we're going to do is color that white, grab our gradient tool, and bring it down nicely. Just like that. And uh, now, I don't quite like how this is right up against the edge here. So what we're going to do now is leave that selected, and we're going to go to Path and Inset. And you can also do Control uh, Left Parentheses Open. I'm going to inset that a little bit there. Maybe too much. Bring it out some more. Okay. Now. Also, something I like to do is we're going to have some text right here in the middle, and to make it look like it's kind of shaded behind that text, I'm going to grab another circle, put it right here in the middle. I'm going to grab the really dark green here, bring up our fill in stroke panel. I'm going to blur it way up. I usually 
usually like to put a uh, some kind of drop shadow on here and also I'm gonna want my text to be behind this shine normally uh, but since we're dealing with white text here it's not gonna really make a difference bring that shine on top there anyway all right now I usually like to put a drop shadow on my text when I'm doing this, so I'm going to make a copy right on top of it. I'm going to make it dark gray here. Bring it down. And I'm going to put it behind there. Uh, I think it needs to be darker. There we go. Looking good. Texture selected is I'm going to use my arrow keys to move it around. And there we go. We've got our button. And let's we zoom out a little bit. We can see how this button would would look uh, on, a, on a web page. It looks uh, very nice, I think. And there's so many variations that we have on these buttons and so many different things you can do. This is just the basics, so do not be afraid. Please do not be afraid to add your own inspiration to these buttons. Uh, anything that you can imagine, you can do. Thank you so much for viewing the tutorial. And please visit us on the web at www.learndigitaldesign.com.